welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a fermented recipe and I'm going to use turnips. Let's elevate this little vegetable. It comes with fantastic B vitamins, manganese, copper, iron. It's packed with lovely stuff and it's so dead cheap. So I'm going to do a fermentation. I'm actually going to do two uh, recipe, well, two ways of fermenting turnip. I was looking up different countries' way of fermenting because you know in every country they have some sort of way of fermenting. They ferment different things. It's been going on for thousands of years. So I found one recipe, I think it's from Croatia, and the recipe I saw was basically just really thinly sliced or grated turnip and then just basically salt. And then I did this recipe where I've just sliced it very thinly and um, so you have like discs that you can put in your food. I put dill in both recipes uh, just because I love dill and I'm Swedish and we love everything with dill. So here are my Kisela Repa or Sour Ruben. I, mean, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong with this pronunciation or even the name. Anyway, these are two that I made earlier. So this is the one I've grated and I've actually already moved this to the fridge. This one only took four days. And also I did a sliced uh, turnip. And uh, this, with this one, I used a brine that I made earlier. So this one is the actual water that came out of the turnips, and this is with brine. This took longer, I think, around seven days. Um, it's still fermenting a little bit, but I just tried it this morning, and it tastes delicious. Yeah, so keep the vegetables under the water at all times that's how you keep it safe and you can see the i've got some green stuff here cabbage leaf to press it down and then also i have my these little glass pebbles that presses the whole thing down i think i've got two or three on that one and two one on that one i think but also and i don't know if this is the correct way but i am using a little bit of dill because just to enhance the flavor so First, I'm going to just scrub them a little bit. I don't peel them because I like to keep the, the outside, uh, but also you want to remove possible dirt on the outside. I just go around. First I'm going to make the grated one, so I weigh my turnip and it's sort of 500 grams and then I know it's going to be 7 grams of salt around that. and then you just transfer everything to a mixing bowl. I'm also cutting up a little bit of dill, put that in, doesn't matter how much, just a little bit. And then the salt. And now we're just going to massage this until we got so much water out of it that it will cover the vegetables when we put it in the kilner jar. my kill my jar and then just pack it press it down real good and remember you have to let the water submerge the vegetables okay and the rest as a lid I'm just using one of the leaves from a cabbage Put it down and this this leaf I'm not going to eat this is just to keep the vegetables submerged pebble in to keep it there a really good tight lid burp it every second day maybe just to 
get the gases out and then try it as you go along. So for the other one I'm doing a brine and and I'm doing a half a litre of filtered water mixed with seven grams of uh, salt. Now I'm going to use this little handheld thing, uh, but use a knife if you can, if you want to. You get them like the sort of that size. So here you've got your stack of turnips. Just fill it up. I'm just putting a bit of dill in like so. You brine and fill it up. And again, I'm going to use a cabbage leaf. The vegetable has to be covered by the brine. So you might want to have one or two pebbles. Yeah. That's great. Put the lid on. Has to be a really tight lid. And here it is. Looks quite pretty. Put it aside. Let it ferment. Uh, burp it now and then. And I would say seven, eight days at least. And you decide when it's done, when you think it's great. Take out the pebbles or whatever you used. And then you can just store it like this in the fridge for a long time. Make sure the brine is still sort of covered, there's a lot of brine in there, and then just use it when you feel like it. Same with the little grated thing, take this out, um, discard of it, and put it in the fridge. Thank you so much for watching, and I will come back next week, hopefully, with a new video. Not sure what I'm doing yet. Uh, please like and subscribe and hit that bell button because then you will get notification on when I have a new video up. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous week and I will see you later.